filming me finally. Okay, what are we doing over here? Screwing around, screwing up. What are you doing down there? I have my calibrated wrist oh, set. Fuck at... <laughs> oh shit! How I'm you doing, Rick? I'm missing a nut. There's a roller right there. A roller. Right? I'm missing another one. Yeah. My torque out. torque wrist is calibrated at 80 inch pounds. Good. Which is about six and a half foot pounds. I'm glad so you're doing that right. That's about. I'm gonna. There's a fancy clutch for now. Calculated guess is about right. What kind of clutch is this thing? There. Rivera Primo. Mm. Diaphragm. Find a roller? High performance. No. Probably on the floor. Not right there, but the lid. Street and no, street. I need some three. Oh, we only got two here. Let me just probably down there. It's right next to that 100 one. 100 horsepower. Underneath that knucklehead. Shovel head. Intake port. Right down there. There's one. What about the other one? Right near it. Nope. Rolling around. Someplace. More junk knuckleheads. Okay. I think that's... You done over here yet? Well... What are you waiting for? I'm being real careful. I can tell you that. Is it tight yet? Here, you test it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to on Harleys. Yeah. Tell me if your calibrated wrist thinks that that's about six and a half. I'm trying things. to figure out why you stole his roller. Gonna appear again? Nope. Oh. Did you drop one you over here? You dropped one over here, weren't you? I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, we don't need all them rollers. All right, he's gonna go look at that. We're gonna look at something else. We have an important thing we're working on back here. Race bike's not here, it's in the truck. I'm gonna go dyno it. Tomorrow's project. We're working on Kelly's bike again. Changing oil. Fixing primary. He smoked his clutch. They're not supposed to be blue. Yeah, blue plates are not good. Smoked. So we worked on that upgrade. And over here we've got the oven going. Oh, it's still 1197 degrees. We haven't got up any higher yet. We are, we are cooking out a Ooh, it's warm in there. Looks pretty hot. It looks good. Oh, oven don't want to come off. There it goes. Oh, we lost three degrees. Oh, 97, 94, 93, it's going down. 1100 degrees, nice and bright red. That's one of those, uh, what are those things? Regeneration chambers for a, for a Ford pickup truck, diesel. Burning all the carbon out of it to make it work better again. That's the theory. We'll see how it works. Let me drop this tool on the floor. Eh, he didn't care about tools on the floor. So we placed a couple oil lines here. They were cracked. We put some high performance ones on. So we got these all on there. Pain in the butt. These clamps don't like going on there. So we got that fixed. So when he gets done playing over there with the clutch, we're going to put the clutch back in the bike. Nothing but oddball products for the last three days. Like I said, race bike's not here. Junk rear tire is. Tire's timed out, even though it's still got the TDs on it. So another junk wheel. You only allowed 10 years. There's my fancy knucklehead cylinders. 119 inch. Did you find it yet? No. I was lucky to find the last one last time. Yeah, did you look in that box there? Yeah. Behind those cylinders? Because that's where you dropped it. I looked behind the cylinders. How about in the cylinders? Flathead junk is in the way. Any C's. Is that over there by the... Any C's? What do we need any C's for? It says put a... image on those threads. Some edge, huh? I'll give there, you a it looks smidge. like there's a little bit already on there, but... We'll give you a smidge here. Here, hold that. I'm busy. It's hard yeah. to put a lid on your lock tape one hand. Yeah. So you want to tape this lock tight? Are these tight yet? Yeah. Are you done screwing around over here? I thought you were going to these things down. That's more than six and a half. Are they still tightening? 
Well, it says 80 I don't give pounds. a squat what the hell it says. The damn screw's loose. Tighten the damn thing down. There, now it's starting to get a little torque on it. There. When the washer quits compressing, it's tight. Until it compresses all the way, it ain't tight. Well, that's why I said check it. You've been checking it for the last 20 minutes. Let's tighten the damn screws down for playing with it. There you go. Do everything. That doesn't work. Oh, that side does, so. How about that? Yeah, okay, it doesn't hit anything. That's a good sign. Where's the clutch? There's a nut. It might work. Where's your plates? Right there. You know, this thing's going to sound like a bill. Bing, 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 bing. That's right. Cracking bike so loud, I won't even hear it. You won't even hear it? Except for when my earplug blows out today on the you way got, here. Uh, oh, you got seven plates now. It's an upgrade from six. All of a sudden, my bike... Where's the inner plate? Is that the inner one? Yeah. It seemed to get louder on the way here. It's because one of my earplugs flew out. How's this one? Are these all the same? Well, it... it if you paid attention, it says put it back together exactly the way you took it out. Mm, I didn't take it out, you did. There's one. Steel first? Oh, we're supposed to soak the plates. Okay. For 10 to 15 minutes. All right. There. I forgot. They're soaked. No, seriously. I don't care. It says soak them in ATF for 10 to 15 minutes. What if I'm not using ATF? What if there's a reason why the instructions call for ATF? What if the clutch is supposed to fit in here and not be bound up like that? What if there's going to be some jack wagons that are going to comment on this on YouTube about how I'm doubting you again? I don't care. <laughs> don't bother me any. Uh, you seem to have a little peanut gallery that like to make smart ass comments. You got a problem here. All your plates don't fit. This point. Oh, fuck. No, not here. Kelly's got soft eyes. Shit. There it goes. Think these are all gonna fit in here? Oh, yeah. Cram them in there. Supposed to be a major upgrade. Mm -hmm. Well, kill lock can be run wet, dry, or a combination of the two. Well, why are they calling for soaking it in ATF? I don't give a squat what they say. You got a new bearing? Yeah, old bearings, maybe. Old bearing works. That's one. Yeah, I. See how that plate's tight? That means the clutch is going to drag a little bit. I don't want it to drag. It's going to drag because it's tight. <clears throat> At least it's below the surface, though. So then why don't we switch that one? There we go. Why don't you switch that one? It appears it all fits together except for the tight plate that drags like crazy. What did they say about dragging plates? Didn't. I don't know. I just... See, look at drags. Can't move it. I just scanned through. I didn't really read all the instructions. That's tight. That's why I brought it over here. I didn't bother reading all the instructions. Yeah, that one came out. Because you're doing it. See how it's tight? See how it's tight? There, see how it's tight? You know what your job is going to be? Some sort of a taper on those. I'll give you um, a hint. Massaging that with a file. See how that one's loose? See how this one's loose? See how it's loose? You got to tighten them up. See how those are loose? Yeah. Guess what? That means your clutch basket's coming apart. Oh. Probably should fix that before you put the high performance clutch on it. 
Yeah, especially since I have two long drives this weekend. Yeah. So where's your uh, your special tool for uh, doing that? Over there, that one you just built. Mm -hmm. We don't have that tool. I definitely don't have the tool with this piece of crap in the way. Yeah. No, you'd have to take it apart. I'm riding this thing to Pine Valley tomorrow in Idlewild Sunday. Oh. You gonna tighten these up or you just gonna leave them loose? <clears throat> well, I'm gonna watch you tighten them up. Why do I gotta tighten them up? Well, because you're the expert. Do you have a tool for tightening them? You do. Where? Somewhere in this strap. I haven't seen one. Have you seen that tool? No comment. I know once upon a time you were a little spurt and now you're a grown expert. I think that was a funny. How come nobody's laughing? It wasn't that funny. Yeah. That reminds me when I worked on a fishing boat, I started off as an apprentice baiter and worked my way up to a master baiter. Pretty good at it. Go back to working on a Harley crank. Yeah. Rick's getting frustrated. You stole his bearing. Look in the garbage can. You want this to keep rolling for this, or you're just turning this thing off? What? Well, they want to know. Can we go that far out? Far out, dude. Nothing else works, you use a bigger hammer. It's only $500, I don't care. Yeah. What? It wasn't your money. See, I'm bagging it up right now. You gotta see what I'm gonna do that in a couple minutes. I'm gonna take this hammer, I'm gonna beat the tar out of it. But this isn't really heavy enough. Let me use one of that. It's better. Okay, where's your beating tool at, sir? Uh, right here. No, it's not the kind of beating we want. <laughs> okay, I got those some kind of alignment device in here, too. We well, probably don't have one. <clears throat> yeah, you can carry that one. All right, where'd you pull that? Let's see, we got to. Uh... This camera's still rolling. Should I turn it off? Why? Well, this is kind of boring. Fast forward. Yeah. Can you hear that? If you want to wait for Keenan to find his rivet adjusting tools. All right, we're close. All right. All right. There you go. Grab that too. Yeah. Rick is on too. Ow. It's going to be hammer time. This clutch is going on that badass bike right there. Started off as a 1979 FXS lowrider. Now it doesn't resemble any FXS, considering that it's completely, totally modified. You're my way again. Yeah, there you go. Bam. Place won't work. Can't use that voice. There we go. There's the old freaking crash clutch. Smoked. My favorite voice right here. Yep, that's the one. It's your favorite one. I don't need that much here. We need a little bit. You have this vice, and you have the other vice. So then, if you put them together. That'd be some good advice. Uh -huh. yeah. Looking genius. Maybe put this over your face. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. we'll masturbate that. All right, come on. Get this thing in order. Stop screwing around. Holy crap. Now he's going to beat the crap out of my clutch basket. Oops, I'll probably do it the other way. Oh, man. Where's the light button? It's 
for our lights on, too. Oh. See, I told you I didn't remember how to use this camera. This one's already below the surface. I can't even beat on that very good. Yeah, we'll just hit it on anyway, see what happens. Worst thing you do is screw it up, right? Maybe we can ah. use one of my old clutch plates to align it instead of forking one of the new ones. Yeah? No? No. Get them all? No. How about if I hold it and you use a drip punch? This one's the one that's loose, so I gotta put it right in the middle. Just straight down or whack it once. You don't like that idea? I'm whacking off right now. Give me a minute. I hit my starter gear. I finally hit it once. I think I nicked my hammer. Look at it, nicked my hammer. I'm going to charge it for my hammer now. I got it again. Come on, stay away from that starter gear. You know, if I hold that, then it would be a lot easier with three hands. If you put your finger between it and that, I can hit that too. I already did that side. Appears to be moving. I already did it. Do you need one of those little donut plates to line it up? Too late. How come a lot of oil is pussing out of it? Must have got it tight. It appears to be tighter now. Where'd you play that, sir? Right next to you. Oh, you dropped my good rag. Right. They complain about my rags being too dirty, so I got two of them now. Dueled.
Well, there's your problem, it doesn't fit. Here's we have a problem. Somebody must have did something to these things and made them not work right. So the old clutch was <coughs> sloppy and this newer one is a tighter fit. So. Sloppier? Yeah. Here's what it is. You can use this for a clutch. See, I've got a lean to it and everything. Yeah. Right there. Ooh, that must be a bastard. I don't like that. Is this called manual labor then? Filing the hairs on it. And those manual layers are hard sticks. And locking up your basket too. These are hard. It's been half an hour torturing this and then sell me a new basket. <laughs> Can I do that? How much are they? Yeah, you got enough money. Got a dollar ninety-eight. That'll be enough. Even on eBay, it should be good for that much. This nice clean workbench. See that? There's actually work that goes on around here. Yeah, like my dirt and dust. It's not picking on my floor. Okay, we'll zoom in on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to sweep up all those aluminum shavings, oh, it. cash them in so I can buy a new clutch basket. <laughs> I'm going to need it. this out again. No. Oh, we, don't, we don't want to run those metal shavings in the new clutch, right? Well, I should put another scratch on there. Metallic clutch. I scratched it again. Again? Yep. Dang it. What tool's that? Kapow. Surprise. And the truth. It doesn't fit at all. What a shocker. Sliding around. Here's this one. Here's a little sideways. If you're tell you, you got to go out there. This one here's a little off. This one's definitely off. Left over there by the vise. By the other vise. Which 
one was it again? Uh, that one. Uh, possibly. Possibly, but probably not. Well, I don't know. You spun it around some. It's my fault now, huh? But I think it's that one. One of them. One of your followers was commenting on somebody chomping and chewing in the background when they were filming. Uh -huh. Sounds like you. No. You don't have the camera. See that precision adjusting tool again. Well, these four are working. These two over here are the last two. So here's... I don't think it's this one that's the biggest problem. Asking you what the torque is. 450? Yeah, <laughs> I wish. Is that 200? Uh, 350 is what I got the other one up to. Make sure you got rods side to side because they'll probably tighten it up. Oh, that was the press he was talking about. Okay. This one here. Keep going back and forth. And one's the problem. Ooh, here we go. I hope that one. So let's tell the audience what would happen if the average Joe assembled this without adjusting. Clutch wouldn't work very well. These little bars, they called cogs. Dogs. Dogs. Close. She goes at an angle, but doesn't come up straight. See, these ones are loose over here. Still binding on that one over here. I think it's burning over here. It's like working on a stupid Indian. Yeah. Keep beating on it until it clears. And these last little bits here, they just don't want to come up. Got wear. Got wear in? Yeah, it'll wear in. Oh, 
don't do such tight fitting with dogs, I don't it's hard to tell which one's the problem. We'll just massage them all again with the file. They're heat treated, they don't want to move. They don't want to file down? No. This one has a gap on this side, so it's definitely tight. This one's got a gap on this side. Those all look good. I know this sounds goofy, but did you try flipping this plate around? Yeah, the other side? Why would I do that? I just don't know if I'm doing nothing matter. Might not be hitting hard enough to make any difference yet. that one plate. Should we test the other ones? No. No we didn't or no we didn't? Yeah. Because if it's the plate, couldn't we just... Well, I'm going to cut the plates at some point, but right now I'm trying to get the dogs to go where they belong. Just got to figure out where the tight ones are at. This one's yeah, tight is. on that edge. This one's tight on the same edge. These two are both tight on the same side. Those dogs are barking. Actually, this one's tight on the back side. That one's loose. Here. This one's tight on this side. So this one needs to go that way. This one needs to go this way. You got to teach those old dogs a new trick. That one. That one. This one needs to go this way, this one needs to go that way. It's getting better. Mm. Sure. It's still dragging some, but it's a lot better than better than it was about ten minutes ago. So this one here is the opposite way I think last time. So the original clutch had what, five plates and then the barnet? Upgrade was six, and now this for there are seven plates. I started with three in the old days. I've been working up slowly over the years. So it was three, five, and now seven. This one's seven. Oh, probably felt good on if you didn't have steel toe. And Please that's why you have steel toe boots in the shop. No, I didn't have any steel toes. I didn't hit my foot. You did too. I don't know how to move my foot. Those are steel toe boots. I didn't hit my foot though. I know how to move my foot. I think I'm stupid. Why don't you just save my starter teeth? Scared. Yeah, that's all right. If you don't care chip, about your foot. If you hit on the chips on the floor, it's all right. Yeah, all those chips cushioned it. That's right. Let the chips lie where they may.
soon they'll be calling me butter because I'm on a roll. They just filled a dead space with smart ass comments. They keep it somewhat entertaining. Maybe not. <laughs> or they could just hear bang, slam, clunk. That works. Zoinks. Almost got it, but not quite. It's like those Indian flat was perfect until they all screwed up. So people will be asking on YouTube, who's that hilarious smartass? Yeah. You need to have him film more often. I don't think so. <laughs> Looks gonna go get the gun right now. Smartass commentary. So while you're doing that final adjustment, what is this frame here on the bench? Should tell the audience what this is. No, it's like sorely over. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> it I'm starting to get some activity now. This uh, slightly used kicker cover. Just needs a little minor repair. <laughs> you got his frets. Pick on his parts. I am. Watch out. He knows where you live. Soon it'll be good as repaired. It'll be a beautiful polished turd, but functional. Yeah, where's Fred? I thought he was supposed to be over here working. He's breaking now. Wasn't that bearing? Tight. Find the bearing? Like that? Find the bearing? Yeah, I found the bearing. Where was it hitting this time? Seems like they're squeezing too, together too close and there's no play. Probably. Let's see if it helps me tighten them up too much. Yeah, well, that probably did. I know I do. Some people have been bored by now. Yeah. This is a long freaking video. We fast forwarding this thing. First time he jumps on the clutch, they're all going to be out of whack anyhow. Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Truth. I'm, I'm hoping that it'll hold up for a little bit longer than the last one. Maybe. It won't. I'm, I'm thinking about... Uh, bolting a wheelie bar on my fender, put some skateboard wheels on it, you know, so I don't scrape up my fender. Comes with the cop drags out front. That's a weird siren. And it was probably a fire truck. That's a fire truck. I give up. I'm not having a good day. I'm going to go home. Why don't you pull the rod out and bring it over. I'll fix it for you. Pull the rod out? Yeah. You said it was tight, didn't you? You're getting close.
When was the last time you had to bang around a clutch basket this much? Well, that's a piece of crap I worked on. Yeah, this one just is. Basket case. It's right there, just for something. These are really tight fitting plates, no problem. Everything has to be perfect, and this basket's a long ways from that. But we're good up to the very last plate, we're good, see? It's just that last plate. We're gonna have to follow the last plate. The second from the last is gonna be, see, it floats. It floats all the way up to right there, and then it starts catching burrs or something. Last little bit, so we'll file the last one. All right, that'll work for that. Junk. All right, you can go clean this up. We'll figure how to put it back together again. There you go.